Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we are going to get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future, and then we will take a look at what's going on with you and your person. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. <clears throat> uh, I am available for personal readings. I can get that out. <laughs> uh, if you'd like one of those, the information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what's going on for you. I saw the Six of Swords. So that's our card of, you know, we're getting to a, a better place or we're getting to a place in our minds because it is a sword, so it's mental energy. Of where we're feeling a little bit calmer. So even sometimes in the whirlwind of chaos that we've all been experiencing, we can find peace. And to me, this is saying like part of you wants to just shut out the world so that you don't have to think about or process all of what's going on around you. All right, let's see. So in the recent past, I think you're feeling a lot of the injustices. For some reason, I think you're taking on more of what's been going on around you than you typically would. So there's a feeling that it's kind of unsettled and you just kind of need to push away anything that's creating that imbalance in your life because you want to find that stability within. So in the recent past, you could have found yourself, you know, saying, look, <laughs> like this is taking more than I can handle, even if it's just friends or family or work situations, not trying to be mean. I just need some space. Now, in the current energy, the Four of Cups, people could be coming in saying, come on, let's go out, let's do this, let's do that. And you're just like, no, like, I need a break from the world. The Eight of Cups, you could find yourself in a position of saying, I'm not taking what anybody's offering right now. I need to walk away from all of this emotional overwhelm. Doesn't have to be somebody specific. It may pop up when we start to clarify. Three of Pentacles showing up right after that. It tells me that you just don't want to be in group situations or, you know, things that had not been working out. Maybe you had a collaboration, <clears throat> somebody wasn't showing up the way you expected them to, and a part of you is like, you know what, this isn't coming together, I need to get out of this situation. All right, so in the near future, we have the Four of Swords, the World in Reverse, and the Fool. So this is asking you, after you think about this thoroughly, something's coming up for you that needs to shift and change. And Spirit's saying, like, you're going to have to have faith. You're going to have to ch take that chance, a blind faith type of chance, and know that if you do this, when the fool is there, it says there's usually a good outcome. There's something in there your soul's pushing you to do. So it's good to follow that because that's what's going to change whatever's going on in your life that's not feeling really settled or feels really imbalanced right now. So the overall energy is the three of swords in reverse. So could that be that you are still working through a heartbreak? Some of you, I mean, there's so many thousands of people out there. If you're seeing this and you've gone through this and you know that energy is still a little bit there, okay, that's what you're, you're going through. You're thinking through the injustices in those situations and realizing that you're much more stable on your own because something definitely hurt but I feel like you're getting over it which is a great sign page of pentacles maybe you're not really in a place where you want to jump into something brand new you could still be just a little bit upset about it um, and again this could be any area of your life I'm gonna say it's something to do one two things I don't feel friendship or family I feel either a relationship or a work situation that had you stressed out now the seven of pentacles is saying you're kind of waiting uh, in a way, and maybe you're tired of it, and that's what's stressing you out, waiting to see what's going to happen. Now, the healing, yes, it takes time. That's part of that, too. It's like, can you have the patience to allow yourself to take a break from the world so that you can heal and process? And that's what mental energy is all about, processing it mentally, spiritually, emotionally, however you need to. I just feel like right now you're carrying a lot of that, or were, and you're wanting to get away from it. The seven of swords pops up after that. So, and then the, the high priestess, which could mean that a part of you, part of your intuition kicked up a notch and you had to realize that something was, it was trying to show you something. So if somebody was cheating or wasn't being honest and you felt that, um, that's the injustice I think you were feeling in the past. But the king of pentacles tells me 
that you know that you maintain your stability even when tough things are happening. Now, this could also be the support of someone who's strong, like a father figure or someone in your life that really matters to you that you seek advice from. Could be even a boss. It just feels like someone who's stable, who might have experienced some of the same things. So if you're dealing with something at work that's been really disappointing or overwhelming emotionally, this person has really good advice. I'm going to say they've probably been through the BS and have a, a good understanding and may be sympathetic to where you feel these injustices are. So if it's in a love situation, maybe it's a father figure or somebody who has strong masculine energy that's a feminine that is stable, it could just be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and or they embody that energy. They don't have to be one of those signs and they just feel you know, good. Like when you talk to them, it helps ground your energy and helps make you feel like I can make decisions, like I can get over whatever I need to. All right, I'm gonna go through this because I forgot I was talking about it before, but I hadn't gone through all of them. So the Four of Cups, Eight of Cups, like I said, there's something that wasn't coming together. And because of this, it's like you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to see it. You just really, the center energy is saying, I really just want to walk away from this. Um, the feeling, even if it's not walking away from a job, you could just be saying, I want to walk away from the feeling, the overwhelm, the emotional baggage. I don't want to carry it with me anymore. I want to shift my energy so that I can deal with my situation without feeling so overwhelmed that way. And it could be also that somebody's coming up and saying, hey, I want to offer love or come out and spend time with me or something of that sort. And you're like, this is just not working for me right now. I don't have the time for it. I need to focus on myself. All right, like I said, in the near future. So this puts you into a place of really thinking things through in the near future. And the world says that something has not changed yet, but you have the power to change it. So the fool coming towards that card tells me it is in your control. It's not like you're waiting for the universe to shift something for you. This is, you're getting the downloads in your mind. Even if you think they're your own thoughts, it's actually your guides or spirit or whoever is trying to help guide you. And it's happening through your mental space. So trust the things that you hear and feel. Definitely. We all have that ability to do so. It's just a matter of whether we trust it or not. And then take that step that you feel guided to take because that's what's going to make the change is your action. Okay. Now let's go ahead and clarify the justice with the King of Pentacles. This is for Aquarius. Like straighten it out just a hair. Okay. So we have the Two of Swords in reverse. So you made a decision. Um, I think this person probably helped you make that decision. Uh, this is pulling away any kind of deception or um, where you didn't have clarity about something. There's no confusion anymore. You really worked through whatever this injustice was. And then we have the Six of Cups, and that's what helps bring the balance in. So in this deck, the Six of Cups is actually uh, not them giving to others necessarily. Yes, they're helping, it looks like, in nature. But it's almost as if they're feeding their own cups because they're all glowing in this card. So what you're doing is putting back the energy into yourself as you work through this. And I think this person or energy that is there for you, it could even be someone that's passed on who you feel connected to, that you feel like is guiding you. And it's showing how to give, but you know, put your energy back into the right places so that things in your life balance back out. The King of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords, or I'm sorry, Nine of Wands in reverse. See, and then there's the Ten of Wands in reverse, which is a good energy. It means you're not carrying that with you, as I said before. And then the Eight of Wands. Things don't have to move at a rapid pace in order for things to be moving. <clears throat> One of the most common things as you're learning your spirituality, as you're going through these shifts and changes, is that you don't have to actually always be moving and there doesn't have to be action from other people for things to be going on in the other realms. In other words, the guidance that you're being given. So if there's not a lot of open communication in the in the past or you didn't have a lot happening from other people, it was because it needed to be worked out within and with you and whoever is there protecting you on the other side. Your action doesn't come until the near future. And then the Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work. And that's what you did. You put in the effort. You put it back into yourself. You seek whatever advice or counsel or whatever it is that you needed and then you could put your energy back into okay I can focus on this I know I want to work really hard either on yourself 
which is just as important as any other kind of work you do. Work is not just about what you do to make money. It's about how you work in your family situation, how you work um, on yourself and in your relationships. All of those things matter. So I feel like you'll have the energy again to put in the effort into those things. So we have the Four of Cups with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So right now, it's not that you're not abundant. It's almost as if Spirit's saying what, what you desire is on the other side of you leaving all of this difficult emotional stuff in the past when you can obviously you have to work through it first and then we have the page of wands in reverse so it's not being quite clear about the next steps in the current energy not really knowing how to create that abundance that you want in your life and that's okay that's because you're in the stage of waiting which a lot of us feel very uncomfortable in but it will happen healing happens um, moves happen Things will change to get you to the place where you're ready to take a chance again to make things look the way you want. They're never perfect, but when we go through big life shifts, it can be tough. All right, so the Eight of Cups with the Three of Pentacles, and then we have the Five of Wands. So this is very much about you learning the lessons that you needed to learn, and you're fighting through it. You're getting through it. You just haven't seen the sign yet. The only indication here is that you know that you need to step away from this and leave this emotional baggage behind. And then we have the Hermit, internal work. I mean, it's really guiding you perfectly through the recent past, current energy, and into the future. It's saying, be aware of those injustices. Be aware that you are just about to shed the skin. That's what a, a snake does. You're shining a light on that. And you're saying, okay, I'm actually shedding an old version of myself. And I'm learning with the Five of Wands, the training, you're in training, in how to do that and how to do it gracefully and then we have the full in reverse so this is saying that you don't have the energy right now to take that step it's because it comes in the near future so the four of swords with the world we have death card big change there it is scorpio energy king of cups in reverse i think what you're going to do is approach things from a less emotional place in the future and then the ace of wands so there's a need here while you're thinking this through and getting yourself prepped to take this chance to fire yourself back up. And right now your emotions could just be a little bit in the near future. They could be a little withdrawn and you need to do that so that you can find your tough air energy to push you forward. This is the fire energy that needs to be restored and that justice card. So you're still working through that feeling of injustice that you had experienced in the past the Page of Pentacles is saying that new opportunity is not quite there, but it's going to take you taking that step in order for it to be there. Um, there might be a part of you that has lost a little bit of faith, but I don't want you to because here it just says that you're a little bit tired. So it will come because that fool at the end tells me that you're going to take the steps that need to be taken in order to get you back to this energy, which is feeling really good about yourself. And it's in abundance. He's grounded. It's not easy for air signs to always get to a place where they're grounded. If you have a lot of earth in your chart, great. Um, all those factors come into play when it comes to understanding yourself. So if you're a little bit more of an emotional air sign, you probably have a lot more water. You could have a water sign um, in your moon or something like that. So it is good to get to know you and how you specifically deal with things. But this tells me you're going to take that chance. And not only does it put you in a, um, a stronger position, could put some of you in a boss position. So some of you that are seeking um, a business opportunity that would make you the, the boss, this is taking that chance to do so without any kind of fear because you have everything that it takes to create this. Okay, so I am going to clear this and we will get into the person that's on your mind. So think about them for just a moment and we will get into their energy and your energy. Okay, let's see. So the overall energy, it's funny how this came out. I like to see which card's going to sit on the top. If you've watched me before, I do this now. The Four of Swords is coming out in reverse instead of in the upright like it showed up which means you're going to get out of your head you're just going through a period of time where a lot of processing and thinking is happening okay let's take a look at what's going on with you and your person this is for Aquarius all 
All right, so your person's energy is the chariot in reverse. You could be dealing with a cancer. Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles in reverse, and the Eight of Swords. Hmm, this person does feel a little bit stuck. It's like they want to tell you why they feel stuck and why things haven't come together. So could it be somebody from the past? Maybe. Now, the question is, do you want to hear from this person if they are? I'm not going to say for everybody that someone's coming back. I just feel like their movement is quick and in, and it's like they spew out the truth about where they are. And basically, they're stuck, and it's an illusion for them. I want to cut these one more time. All right. Your energy is the death in reverse. So you're going through those changes that we just discussed, but you are in a place of knowing what the outcome, you know how much better it's going to be for you. So the Wheel of Fortune is on your side. If this is something that you really want, I'm going to be honest with you, it looks like this person's moving their energy in the opposite direction and so are you. It's like, if this isn't going to work and you're going to stay stuck and I don't get a feeling like you're into this as much as I am, I'm just going to go seek what makes me happy. The Seven of Swords in reverse because you've been honest about things. It's not like you've brought um, untruths or not been fair or anything like that. You've been very upfront and the Wheel of Fortune feels like it's more about you specifically, like what you're seeking. Not that you're not willing to put the energy in, but the two of you are going in opposite directions. We'll see. I'm going to get a few more cards. So this might just be a really big burden on you right now. Does it mean that it's done done? Uh, let's see. I want to get some cards and see what other than them coming forward. It actually seems like they're turning their back and running in a different direction, but it doesn't, I don't know if it's towards someone. Let's see what their energy is. Maybe they're afraid of telling the truth. So the higher friend, yeah, they don't have faith in this. I think a part of them wants to go and seek their own um, maybe they're just somebody who has a very strong sense of business and the, uh, a need to be grounded more often. And if things are a little up and down for you right now, maybe they're thinking, oh, well, I need to go seek this for myself. And then the Ten of Swords or Ten of Wands, they just don't want a lot of stress. So if there's been some ups and downs in this, that's what they're, they're trying to do. They're trying to focus on that. So I don't know if their energy is really focused on making this work at this moment. Now, yours says the world. There's that change that you're going through. And then the Ace of Cups wanting to start something new. So if you want to renew this, um, obviously, I can't tell you specifically if you're going to, but it feels like you want something new and something's changing in you. And this just may not be something that's meant for you. It may be that this person has to be cleared from your life so you can experience something completely different. And then we have the devil. So maybe a part of you feels a little bit attached. Maybe there's just a fire and a passion and doesn't have to be toxic energy. Maybe you're just like, ugh, I just want to get out there. I'm excited about the changes in my life and I'm fired up and I want something really new and exciting. And if they aren't going to be there for it, you're going to go seek what makes you happy. See what the romance angels have to say for you. Let's start Aquarius. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you were guided to take. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, so it could be for some of you. For others of you, you're seeking something new. Let your friends help you ask for and, ex and accept support from others very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And I think that's being directed at you. You deserve love. You are lovable. Absolutely you are. And if this person isn't showing it to you, sayonara. I know that's easier said than done. I'm not in your situation. If you love this person a lot, it can be really hard to let go. But I'm going to say you're going to go after what makes you really happy. Because if this isn't going to come forward for you and it's going to stay stagnant, I just don't think you're going to continue in it. What am I grabbing? I'm grabbing the Lover's Oracle. This is for Aquarius. I feel the need to go back to this card for some reason, so I'm going to take it. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Absolutely. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And then imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. 
that's what it feels like. Most of you are probably going to move on to something new or at least shift something so dramatically within this um, in order for it to work. I think that would have to be said very clearly in order for this person to get it because I just think they're just too stuck in their own stuff. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. For you. All right. Fork in the road, there you are. This does seem like there's a big decision that needs to be made. You could be born on the fourth or the number four could be significant to you. And then it says exchanging gifts. That's a nine and that is about wrapping things up. Sometimes it is a gift. The universe is saying, look, I'm pulling this away from you because you have bigger and better things to do. And we want you to experience something that's more full. Um, the Ace of Cups, the feeling of like your cup runneth over. You deserve that. So if this is what they're trying to say, this ending could be a gift. And then deep knowing. When these two cards come out together, that really is a true indication that you know deep down in your heart what to do. So that reduces to a seven. I'm going to say seven could also be significant. If you're dealing with a cancer, they could be born in the month of July or you are born on the seventh and then breathe. So this is relaxing into the energy. This reduces to an 11. Some of you could feel like this is your twin flame, which by the way, I define it very differently. We, we all do. To me, a twin flame is an empath and a narcissist and they serve their purpose in your growth process. So if you feel like this person is either a deep soulmate or a twin, just know that we experience many of them and it doesn't mean you're supposed to stay with them just because there's some definition or label put on that. Because if it hurts more than it feels good, it's not right and it's not meant for you. Now the overall energy, not for you, interesting. I just said that it was upside down, but that's a six energy. So you could, I feel like I want to say you could see a lot of sixes. I want to say the, the number 666, but people think that that's a horrible number. It's actually not. Read up on that. Google the angel number 666. So not for you. A lot of you already know this. Okay, my loves, that was your reading. Thank you so, so much for being here. Again, for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below or in my about section. I hope you have an amazing 10 days and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.